No sooner had Governor Christie signed the 23 cent a gallon gas tax hike into law than there was a move to kill it. The hard fought compromise is meant to generate nearly one and a quarter billion dollars for the fund to fix corroding roads and bridges, while cutting nearly one and a half billion dollars in taxes for seniors, vets, and property owners. But now there's a bill that would send it back to the drawing board. I recently asked its sponsor, State Senator Kip Bateman, why he wants the gas tax repealed. Because I think 23 cents is outrageous. And I've literally heard from thousands of constituents saying that that's going to be over the top for them. It just, you know, average driver, it's $150 a year for one car. If you have several cars, you multiply that out. It's just too much at one time. And, you know, New Jersey is the most expensive state to live in in the nation. And this is just going to add to it. How should the Transportation Trust Fund be replenished if not for the gas tax? That's got to get well, done. No question about it. And uh, we have to fund our, our roads and bridges. Um, one of the problems with the bill, the way it was when the governor signed it is some of it's going to light rail. You know, and we, we need the, to focus on the roads and the bridges that are in, in deterioration. So we're looking at other ways. Uh, Senator Beck has a bill. There are other ways to pr propose there are other proposals to uh, fund the Transportation Trust Fund without the 23 cents. Tax. Like taxes on the wealthy? Well, I think that uh, that is certainly um, at a certain point. I mean, the estate tax provision is good, but we don't have to eliminate it totally. We can make it uh, equal to the federal level, which will get more money in. There, there are a number of proposals that we should really be focusing on, putting together to try to, to lessen the blow. Listen, can you be specific? There may be well, I'm, I'm, we're working on it right now. I mean, there's been several proposals. Uh, Jennifer Beck had a proposal where we, we lower the cost of the health benefits instead of the platinum plan. We lower it there. We save I don't know how much money there. And I have some ideas, which I'm speaking with Senator Darty about. We're back in Trenton today, first time since the governor signed the bill. So I'm working on some proposals, which will be coming forward. Our gas prices right now are the second lowest in the nation. By November 1st, when the 23 cent increase goes into effect, Jersey Gas will still be cheaper than in the neighboring states, right? Yeah, not by much. I think it will be like uh, the third uh, uh, behind, I think, Pennsylvania. New York and Pennsylvania. York. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah, and the problem is, and we, we know it's just a matter of time, the gas prices are going to go up either way. With OPEC, apparently, they're, they're coming to some terms to cut production. So we know that it's going to go up either way. What's going to happen is when the gas price goes up, you add the 23 cents to it, they're going to look at Trent and say, you know, how could you do this to us? You know, is there a better way? I think there is a better way. I think you know, we need to go back to the drawing board. I think we need to discuss it further and, you know, let it go forward the time being, but then grandfather in. If we come up with a better proposal, phase it in. But it's just, I think it's too much to ask people to come up with 23 cents. Let it go forward for the time being so that the roads and bridge crews can get back to work. Exactly. Why we're, why we're still debating, you know, whether there's a better proposal. There's no question there's some bridges that have to be done right now and why the, the season is still, you know, able for, for construction. Let's do it. But let's let's long term. Let's let's look for a different solution. This was a tough compromise to come up with for over a long period of time. Governor Christie said he didn't want to sign any tax increase, but he approved this single one because it was coupled with a phase out of the estate tax, as you said, and a reduction in sales oh, yeah. tax. He said it was his only option. Well, I, I don't I don't agree with that, respectively. But you know, my bill only repeals the gas tax part of it. I mean, I still want to have the other tax uh, breaks in the in the legislation. But he and the Senate president both said they're not happy with this proposal, and you know they're doing it because they think that's the only uh, possibility. But isn't you know, that this the is definition not... of a compromise? Nobody is really happy with the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I can certainly tell you, I'm not happy with this compromise, and most people in New Jersey are not. And the people I've heard from are irate, and I think that we we owe it to our constituents to go back and see if there's another way of doing it. You and, know, the you know, business I, groups I... have said that this compromise law will help the business climate. Will it? Well, there's no question funding for the transportation trust fund will help the, the economy. No question about it. Getting these people back to work. But I don't think that this is the only proposal. I don't think this is the only solution. Let's just say 23 cents to me is outrageous. Handicap this for us. Will your proposal have enough support to get through the legislature and get signed by the governor? Well, I'll be honest with you. It's a long shot. But I also think we owe it to our constituents to explore all possible ways of lowering the tax burden on the highest tax payers in the, in the country. Senator, we look forward to seeing your proposals, your counter proposals. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.